What's up guys, Kidmar95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode guys, we got a technical analysis on one of your favorite coins here, Tron, currently up almost 25% for the day. It was up 25% earlier, sitting at 5 cents. If we're looking at BTC value up almost 17, Ethereum value, we're looking at almost 23% up for the day. But really quick though guys, before we do that, let's go ahead and run through the market. Market cap sitting at 462 billion, today's volume just below 20 billion. Bitcoin dominance at 40.7. Bitcoin um, up almost 7% for the day. We broke 10,700 guys finally sitting just below 11,150. Ethereum up um, a percent and a half sitting at 874. Ripple up two and a half percent sitting at 92 cents. Bitcoin Cash up 6%. Litecoin up almost 4%. NEO down a quarter. Cardano down two. Lumens down almost one. EOS up almost two. IOTA up almost six. Monero up almost 12. Dash is still below 700 guys sitting at six. 618 sorry. Tron is now at our number 14 spot, up 24% for the day. Market cap sitting at 3.5 billion. V chain up 4%, sitting at uh, almost just below $5. Nano up 10%. Zcash up 1. Populous up 24. Verge up almost 11. Steam, make sure you guys are on Steam it if you're not on Steam it already. But really quick though, guys, you guys came here for some Bitcoin price action, or I'm sorry, some Tron price action. But let's go ahead and run through the uh, Bitcoin price action before we do that so as you can tell this here let me label this for you guys this is our higher high that's what this high is and then we have a higher low right here so what I'm expecting here from Bitcoin guys is a push to about excuse me 16,000 and then a, a retracement Maybe not, maybe not that steep, but definitely looks like we'll be breaking 11,500 here. If you're looking to add to your position, now would be a great time. Momentum definitely looking like it's shifted towards the upside here. Start down here, bottom one, two, and three. I know these little buttons are in the way, so let me see if I can move this for you. So there you go, bottom one, two, and three. Momentum definitely shifting towards the upside. Uh, remember, I've been saying this for a while. January is the bear month. February is the stabilization month where, you know, most currencies are looking for support or, you know, um, still in mid-correction. But um, March is going to be the bull month here. So definitely expect um, long, you know, expect, expect a lot of these coins to make a nice little run here in March. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum. Ethereum still kind of behaving the same way. Still consolidating here for, for, you know, it's been what? One, two, three, four, five, six days, almost a week since we've been consolidating here. But I'm definitely expecting Ethereum to make some uh, make a run towards the upside here once Bitcoin slows down a little bit. A break and close above. Uh, here, we'll, yeah, break and close above $900, and Ethereum should be good. Looks like a higher high here. This high beat this high. This low is beating this low, so a higher low here. Definitely looks like it's going to be making a run towards the upside here. My next target for Ethereum is going to be about 975. Small correction to about uh, 920, 900 maybe, and then shoot towards the upside. Go ahead and look at Litecoin really quick. Litecoin still kind of bouncing off our minor support here at 200. Let's go ahead and look at the four hours, see what the four hours shows us. Looking a little bearish here on the four hour, it seems like. We have a little, it uh, looks like a start, could be the start of a downtrend here on Litecoin, which is kind of odd to me. Definitely didn't see this coming here from Litecoin. But what I'm kind of expecting here from Litecoin is, let me go ahead and switch over back to the daily. What I think is happening here with Litecoin is we're most likely going to be coming down to about, oh, what'd that do? I didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Coming down just to form a wick. And then we're going to be bouncing, I believe, towards the upside pretty hard. So, but I, let me go ahead and switch to the one hour, see if we can get us an entry point, an exact entry point. It definitely looks like we're going to retrace here. So this is what most likely is going to happen to Litecoin here, guys. Now that we're on the one hour, we have a better idea. We're at 210. I'm expecting us to drop 10, down to about 205 and then shoot towards the upside. I'm not looking to add to my Litecoin position until we get a break and close above 215. Remember, guys, this is just my personal opinion. I am not a financial advisor. But you guys came here for some Tron technical analysis, almost up 25% for the day. Market cap at 3.5 billion. Today's volume 459 million. Circulating supply, guys, here is 65 uh, billion. Total supply 100 billion. 
major exchanges here, guys. Binance, Hilby, Bitsy, Coinest, CoinEgg, Liqui, and Ethfinex. But before we dive into some price action, guys, really quick, let's go ahead and look at Justin Sun's Twitter here, the founder of the Tron Foundation. So for those of you that don't know, check this out. 51 minutes ago, Upbit Exchange actually welcomed Tron on, so they just added Tron to a uh, new exchange. And then if you look three hours ago, Tron actually got added to Bittrex, one of my main exchanges here that I use. Um, so, you know, added to two major exchanges here on the same day. That's why we're getting a huge, huge increase in volume here. Um, and I feel like this is honestly just the beginning here for Tron. Um, you know, so that these exchanges aren't even listed on here. We don't have Upbit listed on here or, Bitfin or Bittrex, sorry. So definitely expect them to, uh, this to get updated and see this up top or up here up the top because it's going to be one of the main... Uh, main exchanges that's going to be bringing in a lot of volume here um, so we're only up 25 percent we're sitting at five cents I've been hearing a lot of rumors about Tron possibly getting added to coinbase I know a lot of youtubers have been talking about that I, I could definitely see it. it's definitely a possibility um, and that's just going to add even more volume here but let's go ahead and do a technical analysis on Tron guys I'm really excited for this coin here in 2018 now that we've been added to a couple more exchanges so this is the beginning of our uptrend, bounce one, bounce two, looks like this is the third bounce here. Major support guys from about 345 to about 400 Satoshis. Remember we're looking at Tron Bitcoin on Binance as a broker, TradingView is the platform. And it looks like we're making a clean break towards the upside guys. We have a nice little engulfing here, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you. Nice little bearish parallel channel, just like this one, we broke out of it, came back down. Um, Nice little bullish engulfing here, guys. We bounced off our major support. This would be bottom one, bottom two. And then this second candle here is the confirmation for me. So this, if, if, see if, so, and if I would have made this video yesterday, guys, we, we would have added a position here, guys, and then we would have been in profit. So my fault, I should have done the video sooner. But, you know, it's still a great time to add here. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the four hours, see what the four hours shows us. Oh, yeah, very beautiful clean break. And this is just the beginning, guys. Definitely expecting Tron to make a lot of noise here in 2018. Well, uh, where do I see? So if you're looking at your Tron bag, I would add to it now. Um, you know, don't let it get higher than 534. If it does, wait for it, uh, wait for it to make a correction before you add to your bag. But I'm definitely looking to add to my Tron bag after this video. I added a little bit before. Where do I see Tron going in 2018, guys? All-time high here is about 2,000 satoshis. I can I see Tron easily being a $3,000 or 3,000 $3,000 3,000 satoshi uh, value uh, coin. But there, remember guys, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm expecting this to happen towards the end of 2018, possibly uh, maybe with eight, eight, eight to 10 months. But remember guys, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Pretty much it for today's video, guys. Remember, don't forget to upvote, re-steam, and comment down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. And if you guys are on YouTube, you guys need to jump on Steam It because there is a lot of exclusive content that goes on there. Plus you get, you know, Steam It is the social media of the future. I've been saying this for a while. Um, and it's going to replace every other social media, so I just recommend you guys jump on board now. Plus, you get rewarded for, you know, liking, commenting, and all that kind of fun stuff. So make sure you guys get on Steemit if you're not on Steemit. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.